niggas. Niggas tripping. Got the niggas tripping. What? Bitch, I'm sucking on fucking ice cream yeah. sickles. Check it. Uh. Um. I don't know. Justin Robertson. What's up? What's up? <laughs> this is Jaden Gear. This is the Not Advised Interview, episode two. Hey there. Sick on your dick. I'ma spit on your nips. Spit on the tips. Spit on my clip. I've been creating, I guess, like, I've been identifying as an artist for about, what, three years now? But I've been, like, having ideas for clothing and just things such since, like, seventh grade. Mm. Ah, bitch. Yeah, bitch. Yeah, suck dick. What, nigga, what? Uh, I don't know. I've always been like drawing and like just doing like creative stuff since I was like just a kid. Like I made comic books when I was like in third grade and stuff like that. And I don't know. I just say I'd say pretty much senior year. Like this year was when I officially knew that this is what I wanted to do like, with my life. Biggest inspirations will probably be. Jean Michel Basquiat, just because he was like the first one to do it, pretty much. <laughs> that was tight. And then I'm very Tyler, Pharrell, those guys. People like modern day people too, like Steve Lacey, he's a big influence on me. Like just to get my shit together, you feel? Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's about it. On my dick, nigga, bitch, on my tits, what? What? What, bitch, on my dick, nigga, yeah. bitch. The lack of individuality, oh. like the fact that everyone has to feel they have to like fit in, but like no one has to fit in. Everyone just has to be, everyone has to just be comfortable with being themselves and be comfortable with everyone being themselves, you know? Mm. <laughs> that, that's pissing me off. It's on my dick, yeah. Yeah, bitch, on my dick, go! They just come. Mm. <laughs> they yeah, just come. I assume. I don't know, just like, it depends on what I'm, I just think of like, usually it happens on, when music is playing, and then like I just start thinking about like, just images of something I should just paint and draw, or like I think of like certain shots of like something I would want to put into a film, and incorporate or something like that, I think of just like, stuff like that. You will go. This doesn't have to be serious. It could be like when when people can't act like themselves, when people can't aren't comfortable with themselves. You know, people don't have like I don't know. They don't have individuality. You know what I'm saying? When they have when they know who they are, but they refuse to be who they are. It's kind of annoying. That pisses me off. Fuck! 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 Smoke. Fuck! 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 My main goal is this, I just want, I'm telling you, I just want people to be comfortable with themselves. Like, I want people to stop caring about what other people think about them, you know? Yeah. If everyone could just think for themselves, that would be fine. Okay. Fuck! 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 Next person! Meeting like-minded individuals like myself. <laughs> Got a big booty hole named Jerome. Tyler Creator, Steve Lacey. Um, been listening to, been listening to Bane's World a lot. I can listen to Pharrell whenever. D'Angelo, I slap D'Angelo. Okay. <laughs> I sucked on the titties and I'm like, bitch, use a hoe. Hopefully in LA making moves, making a name for myself. I mean, I don't want to sound the cliche one, but I really hope that. I will be known in five years. <laughs> I want this shit to happen fast. Yeah, <laughs> I feel it. I'm licking on fucking toes, nigga. Got the motherfucking ice cold. Well, how the world the world has impacted me? Yeah, how has the world impacted you? With seeing all this stuff in like social media, it's impacted me. Like social media has impacted me in a way of realizing that people aren't themselves, you know? Sorry. Like, everyone just falls into, like, they want to fall in these categories, but no one wants to make their own category. That's one way the world has influenced me. Like, 
making me me, you know what I'm saying? All right. But in some negative ways, I would say, I don't know, just understanding people. I feel like it's hard for me to understand people because of just like always seeing what I don't like about people. It's hard for me to understand them, you know? Mm. Oh, sip it, ice, wrist ripping, nigga. Yes. Sorry. Some real shit. I ate that bitch's ass. Okay. <clears throat> you see me, bitches wanna be me, nigga. You can't. So this shit I had to make in my life was probably like deciding if I was gonna eat this bitch's ass or not. I don't know. It was hard. I did it. It was a tough decision though. I'm not proud of it, but I'm. I don't regret it. Look at this. Look at this nigga's face. You dis You disgust me, sir. You see me because I'm black when you turn off the light. Um, myself, like, I realize that everything that stresses me, it's all just, like, mental. I, I just overthink stuff way too much, I feel like. And that's what, I fall into, like, this mind, I call it, like, a mind, a mind tunnel, where it's, like, I just keep thinking of things, and instead of going, like, alright, I should stop thinking about this, I just keep going. And it just, like, gets darker and darker, and I'm just, like, it's just negative. It's, like, not good. Feel it. Overthinking. Mm -hmm. Bitch, when I'm black and you turn on the light. Uh, I really, I really like Palace. Palace is fire. Mm. <laughs> they got some fire shit. I can't fight till we see the sunlight, nigga. Bow, bow. I don't know. I really don't like to pay attention to it. Like, I mean, I know we have, we should, I probably should be paying attention to it because it is the guy who's technically like the leader of the country I live in. Mm. And, uh, I don't know, like, obviously America voted for him for some reason. I, I, I don't understand why, but they did, so obviously he won, so you can't say anything. Just hope he does good, that's all. Alright. I don't know. My face. I feel like I have an ugly ass face. <laughs> I don't know. Big <laughs> nigga fuck pow shit pow. Oh, Sly Cooper, Crash Bandicoot. Oh shit. Uh, what else is there? Ratchet and Clank. That one's good. <laughs> that, that one goes, good. yeah. San Andreas. That one was good. Cause you were in the hood. Lego Star Wars, Lego Indiana Jones. Oh, Lego Star Wars. Is <laughs> Le any Lego game was tight. Any Lego game was fire. But yeah, those are like my favorite video games. Sly Cooper for sure. Oh, Kingdom Hearts. Kingdom Hearts. Kingdom Hearts and goes. Oh my, my God. Game. At me. <laughs> Him. Nigga. Booty hole. I don't want to live in one place for the rest of my life, but if I did have to live in one place for the rest of my life, mm, probably New York, just because of how many diff how many people there are there and how many different types of people there are. So I just I just meet new people all the time. Mm. Mm. Stay inspired. I don't give a fuck about them. I mean, <laughs> they're just words, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I feel like people take it up the ass too serious, like way too serious. <laughs> it's just it's a it's a it's a sound we produce with our mouth that literally means nothing. <laughs> it literally, literally it, means nothing. It means nothing. It's just noises. <laughs> oh shit! Yeah, it is. It is. Fuck! 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 There's a lot of flaws in the education. Yeah, we, we don't have time to go through everything. <laughs> just, like uh, I say, the biggest the biggest flaw with the education system is it doesn't it doesn't encourage students to find their passion and find what they like. It just puts them in this cookie cutter format. Of yeah, what you have to learn in order to succeed in life. It's they they say like they can they they can give you so much and be like yeah this is what you can do to be successful, yeah. but then they'll push it as much as they should at all. Yeah, like. They, they, they just need to like, they just have to push the in, like, the passion, because everyone's different. You can't like teach everyone the same, you know what I'm saying? You can't teach them the same thing, so they really just, I think they should just start like, you could like, see kids, like kids who are drawing, like, alright, maybe these kids should go to art classes, and like, kids who are obviously better at sports than others, maybe these kids should be like, in PE, you know what I'm saying? Something yeah. Like that. Something more for the individual. 
feel it. Mm. Captain Crunch Berries. Oh, those wow. are good. I, I have some in my house. Yeah. Mm, probably just Sprite. Keep it simple. Don't get sick of Sprite. I never get sick of Sprite. Clint! Oh! Get a pregnant and dip! We will! Lays. Cause I got all the flavors. Flavors, mm -hmm. nigga. Get your flavors, up, nigga. Alright, do you want to show us some of your uh, artwork? Yeah, sure, why not? Uh Get a kid, single parent, bitch! Oh! So, you think you a baller, nigga? Oh, nigga shit. My, my gate's open for me, nigga. Oh, shit. Oh. Hey, Tico. Come on, step in, step in, step in. Come this way. Hey, close the door, please. Oh, okay. So basically, this is a room where I grew up living in my whole life. This right here was probably my, this was my first painting. I never titled it or anything. It was just something I like, thought of, just painted it. I was just trying to get used to like painting, so I just did a bunch of like straight lines and like shapes and stuff. But I like the color schemes on that one. And then over here is another, this is probably one of my more recent ones it's probably one of my favorite ones mm. just because of the color scheme and like i like how i like did the background before i did what was going on top of it i fucked with that heavy and then like these ones you got this one right here so i'm not painting real fast it kind of ended up like i feel like it resembles me low-key right here mm. for some reason i just feel like it does but i didn't like intend for it to be me but when I showed people, they thought it was me for some reason. <laughs> and then this one is the That's most a recent. great one. This one's I like this one. This one's tight. This is called Gap. This is the first art piece that I actually, like, titled. I don't know. I just really fucked with the color a lot. And I just, I knew I wanted to do, like, actual, like, person. And it's like, it doesn't look like a real person, but that's, like, my first attempt at a real person. Hmm. So, I fucked with it. I don't know. You know you got some artwork by Jaden Gear up there. Oh! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> and then like, I wonder who that fly ass nigga is. Mm. And then right here is just like some drawings I did. It got kind of damaged by water, but I think it still looks fire. A lot of people fucked with that one. Yeah. For some reason, people really like it when I draw on the graph paper and just do the black and white. So a lot of people tend to like these. And then these was just like, this is what I'd be sitting at school and just thinking about. That's that was me during like algebra two. Hmm. That's what I. That's what I got from that class. No. Yeah, mm. Oh, right here too. There's a little statue of Mary that I painted on. A lot of people think it's disturbing, but I think I made it look better. It's pretty fire. And what's that, bitch? This one right here is uh, my most recent one. Probably the one I'm most proud of. It's called Cure. Pretty much, it just. It was originally uh, Mademoiselle Mouse by Walt Disney, I think, from like back in the day. And it was just a print and I just painted over it and turned it into like something my own. Because people always be talking about like how you never supposed to deface art, but I said fuck it. I just did it and I think I made it. It's called, the piece is called Cure. And basically I just, I just woke up today and then I just felt empty inside. And I, that was the first thing I did was just write empty at the bottom and paint it. It's just all these words that I was feeling at the time and this morning but after I painted this I just felt better so I'm chilling now pretty much it's like he blew his brains out because the gun's the cure to emptiness and having a void and feeling like you're lost and hollow I feel like that's the only way to officially get rid of the feeling of emptiness is to just kill yourself so I don't know yeah that's my artwork <laughs> some of the pieces. Anything you want to say to the generation of kids watching this or any people who just want to be inspired? Uh, just do you. Don't give a fuck what anyone else thinks, honestly. Because, like, you don't live life for other people, you live life for yourself. That's how I look at it. And, like, I don't know. Because once, once you die, are you going to think about someone or are you thinking about, like, fuck, I'm dead? 
Yeah. Well, I mean, you're dead. <laughs> yeah, you're dead, exactly. <laughs> so, I don't know, but just be yourself. That's all I'm saying. Don't get, fuck everyone else. Any last words? Anything you want to say? Anything. Uh, thank you, base guy. <laughs>